Okay, here we are. This is update number six in regards to the roadblocks and the grocery supply at the local grocery stores. I went to Mega Maxi this morning after going to breakfast and I noticed that even though they didn't have any meat, they did have some more produce. They had uh, more eggs, they had more bread. I don't know why they didn't have any meat. I'm sure it's a delivery issue. I found a new link this morning that is called ECU 911 and it's a report on all the road closures throughout Ecuador not only for demonstrations but from construction and from actual natural roadblocks that come from landslides and so forth. It's happened quite a bit here. But if you look through this report for today, it's very it's updated every day and they report about road closures due to demonstrations. As you can see here, here's an example of today's report. You can see that some of these are demonstrations, some are due to you know other reasons. I don't want to get into you know a lot of talk about the political issues involved in this peril. They call it a paddle. We call it the strikes, the demonstrations, the the riots, and so forth. There's still continued violence. There's still I think the death count so far up to today is seven people have been killed because of these strikes and the demonstrations. Some of these happen at roadblocks, and it's very unfortunate. The main purpose of this report is just to let you know for you incoming travelers that are coming here uh, what you can expect. I will still say today that if you can delay your trip, I would recommend it, maybe for a week, maybe two weeks. Keep up with these updates. Read the newspaper articles from the links that I provide in the description below and make, your, make, make a wise choice. Make a, an intelligent decision about whether you think it's safe or not to come here. I don't think that really safety is as much of a concern as it is just you being stranded somewhere. If you fly into Quito or Cuenca, you might run into some issues. You might get stranded for a few days. You may get right on through. The important thing to remember is to do your research and see what's going on. This ECU 911 link is a good one, it's especially in particular in regards to roadblocks. They did report this morning that all of Cuenca is basically shut down today because of demonstrations from the taxi companies that are siding with the indigenous people, the uh, Konei, over as a protest over the gas prices. Hopefully it'll be peaceful. Hopefully you're not flying into Cuenca today. If you do, you may be stranded at the airport for a while. The uh, closures are scheduled, or well, were scheduled to happen from 5 a.m. this morning to 5 p.m. today. So, I, if you fly into Guayaquil, you probably won't have any issues if you're coming to Salinas or, or to Monta. I have a friend that came in the day before yesterday. Let's see, today is Tuesday. Yeah, came in on Sunday, flew in on to Waikil, got on a bus on Monday, yesterday. No, got on a bus and was able to uh, come to Monta without any disruption whatsoever. It's on a day-by-day -day basis. Please watch the news, watch this channel, read the information that I provide in the links. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email me. My email is in the description as always. Unlike some other YouTubers that hide their emails, you are certainly welcome to write to me and I'll do the best I can to get what information you need, okay? And if you do make it here, come join me for a cup of coffee. I'm eating at Dulce Cremoso almost every morning and uh, it'll be nice to see you. So that's it for today. This is update number six. If anything comes up that I think is worthy of reporting, I'll do a short from my phone and keep you up to date, okay? Please be safe, travel wisely, and I'll see you when you get here. Ciao for now. Oh, and I just want to add one thing. The next interview that I do, which will be coming up probably next week, I'm pretty certain that it'll be next week, maybe a little bit sooner, will be none other than Stella Coulter. Finally got her to agree to sit down for an interview. It's taken a lot of encouragement. I'm tired. I'm tired from begging her for this interview. So please watch for it. It'll be here next week. Ciao.